Hello guys, this is Royal69501 and welcome to my channel. Well, on this video I give you, I'm going to give you my thoughts for S. Cloudinary X-Men issue number 3. Now, check out that cover. I have to say that this is one awesome cover. I mean, check that out. What I like is the looking at the fire, you can see images inside of the fire, which I like it. This is a very, very, really, really nice cover. Okay, let's get started with the story. Okay, issue number three. Well, here we see the first meeting of the classic Jean Grey with the future alternate timeline or universe of Wolverine, much older. So this is the first meeting because they both know because for Jean Grey, Wolverine is dead. So for Wolverine, Jean Grey is dead. So both of them know that each other are dead in a different time. Okay. The thing is that that's the first meeting. Then from there we go to the school of of for the mutants. But the school of the mutants, they decide to put it in a safe place where they were thinking that they would be safe from the humans and the humans and everything else. Well, they put it in a place called limbo. Well, I guess you can as you can see. Well, it did not work at all. So the schools are being attacked and the X-Men are fighting for survival. As we can see, I have to say that the art is really nice. I really like the art. I'm going to give you here a close-up because it's really nice. It's really nice. I really like it. The art is pretty neat. I like it. And the colors are really nice. Okay. So it's just basically it's all action. The best part of this whole story, at least so far, is the interaction between Wolverine and Jean Grey. You see, Wolverine, Jean Grey wants Wolverine to be part of the team. But Wolverine says, look, I'm not going to be part of the team. I don't want to. I don't feel like it. And the thing is that Jean Grey, she decides to read his mind and she sees what he did. You see, in a different timeline, Wolverine, he got possessed or brainwashed or controlled by something or someone or whatever you want to call it and he actually killed all the X-Men, all of them. He actually killed him, killed them all with his bare hands, actually with his bare claws, in a different timeline. So the young Jean Grey, which is the original Jean Grey from the, from the past, I'm talking about from the 1960s, and she managed to read his mind. So he's explaining to her what the reason why and he's afraid that he might do it again although we know that he not he's not going to do it but for somebody who killed the whole x-men team and then then end up in another timeline to see the same people that he killed before to be alive again so that's kind of that must to that must have to screw up with your head big time so here's when g gray she sees everything and what Wolverine did on his timeline. Also, Wolverine doesn't like this machine here. Actually, it's a Sentinel. But they, they changed the computer, so now that, that, Sentinel, that Sentinel is one of the good guys. So basically, the whole story goes action, action, action. X-Men fighting against those 
those creatures because the story is divided in two. X-Men fighting those those creatures in in limbo and it, and the interaction between Wolverine, Old Man Logan, and Jean Grey. Now this comic book, the best part of it, not because it's bad, but the two uh, stories that they, that is here I like more between Jean Grey and Old Man Logan. I'm telling you, it's a really good story. So here they get into an argument. Jean Grey is trying to convince him to uh, join the team because, well, they need him to be part of the X-Men. So, eventually they send uh, the Sentinel World. He has uh, his unique name, which right now I don't know. Who is it? I mean, I don't remember. So he transports himself where, where Wolverine is in Canada and back to where the action is in the limbo. And the issue finish well. Looks like Wolverine is back on the chain of the X-Men or what is left of the original, original X-Men. I have to say that this story was really good. It's really nice. I like where, where it's going. I like what Jeff Lemire is doing with the characters. Uh, I really like it. I like the interaction between Wolverine and the young Jean Grey. I like it. And I will give it 4.5 out of 5. Well guys, this is it. I hope that you like this video. Till later. Bye.